bounty hunters are empowered by an 1875 federal law that permits agents of bail bondsmen to enter residences and cross state lines in pursuit of bail jumpers. Bail jumpers' offenses can range from simple misdemeanors to armed assault, drug trafficking, and even murder. This is their world. Hold on, hold on. I said, turn your hand around. Hey, kid. Turn it around. Bail for Across the United States. Over 10 million fugitives roam our city streets. Fugitive recovery agents, the real bounty hunters, are the men whose job it is to bring these felons down. To seek. Go, 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 go. To locate. Hang on, you're under arrest. To capture. Down, all the way down. Don't move! to bring them back to justice. Fugitive recovery agents, the real bounty hunters, is shot entirely on location and involve people that jump bail. Although guilty of jumping bail, they are presumed innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. These are their stories. Fugitive's name is Cleve Price. He is a habitual traffic offender. Uh, he's got some past uh, DUI. Uh, also got some past history for uh, drug-related offenses. Uh, currently, we're going after him for failure to appear in court. Uh, there's a bench warrant out for him. Uh, for that reason, uh, multiple traffic violations. I've done some preliminary investigation. It appears uh, that uh, he will be at this location, hopefully. The neighborhood we're going into on Boulder, I have not personally been in that neighborhood. It's uh, somewhat unfamiliar to me. Uh, so we'll just have to adjust appropriately once we get an indication of what the neighborhood is, is like. How we're going to work it tonight, we have uh, four agents. Uh, myself and Agent Evans are going to secure uh, the residence. So we'll deploy uh, first uh, Agent Hinkle and I believe a Agent Johnson is going to do the uh, actual entry. As soon as we get uh, relatively close, uh, maybe two, three blocks, go ahead and pull over. Okay, we're going to be right up here. Second floor is clear. Go ahead and deploy. Hi there. Yeah. You open the door for me real quick? Metro Bail Enforcement. I need to ask you a few questions, OK? Okay. Where's uh, I'm looking for a Cleve Price. He gone. I'm gone where? I mean, he went off with a friend. He had come back. What is it? What you looking for? Yeah. We need to ask him some questions about a case he has pending. Does he have any friends up the street up here that he hangs out with? My daughter said he said he was going up the street. What's he wearing tonight? White T-shirt and some blue jeans. At this point, all we're going to do is take him into custody and take him to Gwinnett County and he'll have to answer the charges, those original charges. And again, sorry to disturb you. That's okay. We've got a physical description and clothing description on the uh, fugitive, so we're going to just check around the neighborhood a little bit real quick and see if we can't uh, spot him. That looks like him right there. Metro Bail Enforcement. The guy's are going to take him to jail. Drop it. Drop, it. Drop, it. Drop the cigarette. Go ahead and let's get him searched before we put him in there. Come on over here. Please, go get the car. Peace. You have anything in here? No. Any drugs or anything like that? No, I don't. All right. You better tell me the truth. I'm telling you the truth. Okay, we're back. We uh, got the description uh, from the team that went in the residence. Uh, we had information that he was out on foot. We started searching the, uh, the neighborhood. One of the agents, uh, Agent Evans, observed a uh, subject sitting on a uh, like a brick brick fence type thing uh, along the curb. So we immediately cuffed him, conducted a search. Uh, he was secured, put in the. Uh, unit and we'll go ahead and transport him up to uh, the jail. What we're going to do, because uh, we're kind of loaded down in this vehicle, we're going to have you ride in the back of this unit here. Actually, be able to stretch your feet out a little bit more. Oh, okay. Yeah. Coming in, come to court. 
Marad didn't even show. I called, left a message. Or at the court? After or before? No, okay, I was due at court at 8.30, right? Yeah. It was, uh... There you go. Thank you. We don't usually do this for everybody. We're not usually quite as nice, but if you cooperate with us, we're more than willing to, to do Thanks what we a lot, need to do. No problem. When I called about 10.30, they switched me. One lady switched, I got switched about three times to different folks. I told them it was traffic for them. The last time they switched me, it was a answer machine or something, so I left my name and number. And they never did get back with me. No. I don't know what they're going to do with you now. You go in practical in front of a judge and fight to bail out again, uh, probably some other bonding agency. But uh, yeah. you're very cooperative. We appreciate that. It makes things easy all the way around. Yeah, well, I'm not a hostile. No. I, mean, I, I know that. I'm a Joan Giant. Right now, we have defendant's name is Rhonda Johnson. That's what she looks like. Uh, $16,200 bail out of the state of Nevada. Uh, she got indicted up to district court after approximately over a year. Uh, a bail bond's only good for a period of one year. And she has a uh, premium of uh, $1,620 is due for this bail bond, and I don't think she's going to be able to have it. And she, last time she checked in was September 8th, so she missed last week's check-in. Um, our contract with her reads if she misses a check-in, she can be subject to arrest the next day. Um, also, the indemnitor on the bond was one that uh, we tried to locate him, and we can't seem to locate him. He's moved to a different address, and the phone number, he's been disconnected. And the information we got on the indemnitor that is skipped is that they've had uh, relationships before, which mm -hmm. uh, makes her a potential flight risk, too. OK. So what we're going to do is go talk to Rhonda, uh, place her in custody, transport her from Bullhead City to Laughlin, Nevada. She's going to think that we're doing this in order to, uh, in order for her to give up the defendant that's the indemnitor who and is skipped. Her, and the co-defendant. Right, and their co-defendants. She's going to think we're doing this because uh, we think she knows where he is. Well, so that, the... she'll probably say something to that. The no. bondsman and, uh, in this particular case says he doesn't care. He wants her in custody because she is a flight risk. The teddy bear house, he might actually be over there. There's a teddy bear in the window. We're going to go down to the end of this street and hang a left. This particular area right here has a uh, high call volume for the police department uh, involving disturbances such as domestic violence and some gang activity. Teddy bear in a little round window. That yellow house. And looks like Rhonda's car is there. Nope. Nope. She's gone. Well, I know her car, uh, she wasn't driving it. She could have it in the repair shop somewhere. Because uh, she was driving around with. Uh, oh, the windshield was broken out. There's the uh, windshield no, there in the going, trash can. Going, she can't be driving it too far without a windshield. Well, that obviously put the new windshield in. Well, what she was arrested for, intent to sell meth, possession of paraphernalia, and paraphernalia. We call the cottages the war zone. Uh, it's a Hogan's Alley situation. You got a group of little cottages set up in a horseshoe shape. Uh, Frank Central. Uh, it's just, it, because of cheap rent, I guess, it draws a, a unique clientele. We frequent the cottages on a lot of cases. Um, with a lot of people that we're looking for because of the drug connections that are made at the cottages. Man, no, her car's not there. Where's the SWAT team coming back from? <laughs> See, I told you they had something going on. Here comes the rest of the squad from... Uh, uh, that drug bust. Uh, it wasn't a drug bust. I don't know what it was, but... Well, the SWAT team was called out. They just repossessed the car. They just took the car out, so... Uh, mm. I'd make the assumption that the, that car is now a seizure. That's Ray's house right there, that little gray shacky mm -hmm. there. Yeah, he used to own that right there. Shackanack. I bet he got the windshield out of that white car right there. He did, because the windshield's gone out of it. That's where Rhonda got her windshield. Yep. And watch the teddy bear house. See who's in the front. Mm, nobody. Oh, out of here. This is uh, Riviera, and um, basically it was named that 
by a housing developer in the early 70s. And a lot of people bought their, uh, put their trailers here, and they were from California. It was a, they had the rentals, or they come to come up on the weekends with their jet skis and their boats. And it just, that's why all the houses are so close together. There's no planning. It's just like, is that, is that, is that? Uh, no. Oh. No, that car's always sitting there. Okay. We've called the defendant at home, so we know she's there now, and uh, she doesn't know that we're en route to arrest her. Uh, she believes that we're en route to interview her again uh, regarding her co-defendant, Adam 6 to Adam 1. How are we going to do this? Are we going to do a couple drive-bys on the residence, or are we going to uh, go right in, or what do you want to do? Do a drive-by, see what's up. Okay, 10-4, you want us to hang back at a location, or you want us to follow you all the way through, or what? Ah, uh, just hang back. Go down Fox and uh, hold off right before making the left-hand turn onto Patillo. Yeah, affirmative. The van just pulled up. I think uh, I couldn't tell. I could make out the vehicle, but our defendant's vehicle may have been parked in front of it. You want us to roll on it right now, or what? You got to get in the back way? Uh, yeah, 10-4. Okay, that's what I want you to do. And uh, let's do it. Something pulling out. I'm gonna block it in. I'm a coming. I'm a coming. Yo! Stop! Stop the car! Stop the car! Now! Stop the car! You guys, the only ones in the truck? Yeah. You guys, the only ones in the truck? Yeah. Okay. Well, let us check it out and make sure. Okay. I don't want to see you guys. Trying to sell pool table. Not in there. <laughs> I, yeah, I have to be like you. Right here. Okay. Give me no, a favor, no Rhonda. TV cameras. Put your hands on the top of the car and put whatever's in your hands down. Put your hands on top of the car. Why do I have to be on TV? Yeah. You're under arrest, Rhonda. Your okay, bail's been okay, revoked. Okay, okay, You're going okay. back to the Clark County Can Correctional Center. Can I say goodbye Center. to my son? Yes, yeah, you'll be able to say at? goodbye to your con. Where's your son at? In the house. Oh, I don't okay. want my son to even Handcuffed on. Give me your you hand. Bastards. Ron, Ronda. you violated three conditions of a Why contract. are you doing that, you <laughs> Get off the <laughs> light. This is ridiculous, you guys. Well, you like feeling this or what? I hope it's on TV. Okay, here's the deal, Rhonda. The bail bondsman doesn't want to guarantee your whereabouts anymore, okay? Your bond, I am not your going Your bond has bond. expired. Fine, you failed to check in on Monday. I okay. called Tuesday. And I the called Tuesday. Now feels like that you're a flight risk because of uh, what's going ridiculous. on with your co-defendant. Okay. Yes, now, I'm dear. Gonna, I'm going to release this, this fanny pack off of you. I don't want you guys. Okay. To now listen to me. Gentlemen. Okay. Where's your sister at? In the house. Okay. Your sister's in the house. In that film. Okay. Sister's don't in the house. Talk to my sister. No. no you're clear. I didn't. Bye. Listen to me. You're being arrested I know for many that. reasons. Okay? I know that. You failed to check in on Monday. Oh, I okay? checked in on Tuesday. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Okay? Ask Robert. Your, your bond, you your go bond call is expired. Robert and you ask okay? him. Your bond is expired. Your indemnitors moved out of town. Didn't leave what? a forwarding address or a phone number. We have absolutely no collateral on you. I have plenty And we collateral. received confidential information that you're yeah, getting ready to blow time. Oh, look okay? at my house. This is a little packed. Okay. Rhonda wants your presence out here, please. Excuse me, I'm on the tail end. Okay. No, never if mind. I, if I let you turn around, you're gonna stay there and not move. Yes, I promise. Okay. If we've got the impression that uh, it's in there, we're gonna take the door down. Please open the door. Okay. Michael McPherson's not here. Oh. No, he wouldn't be there. Bad okay. guys. This is what we're looking for. Okay. Okay. So Rhonda, do you have a problem with leaving your son with your sister? No. Okay. We're taking her to Clark County Jail. Up in Las Vegas. Ten thousand dollar bail. Her bail has been revoked. Her bail was uh, expired uh, August 14th. Okay, where's your ID at, Rhonda? She never it, and where's your ID at, Rhonda? Jack Workman. Yeah. Rhonda, where's your ID at? Go look at my house and see that there's nothing packed. Rhonda, I have to do laundry before I get even packed. Is your ID in your fanny pack? Can you prove to me I'm leaving town? It's not that, you Rhonda. Are your indemnitor is nowhere to be found. Mr. Well, Jack Workman. Well, I'm going to that's you right. Don't have anything. Rhonda, where's your ID? Uh, it's in my purse. Okay. What do you think it is? Idiot. Not on camera, you Rhonda? I'm going to stand right in front of the camera. Rhonda, I don't want my you purse on camera. Settle down. You guys. Okay. You guys are lying. And you know it. You know it. You know I ain't going anywhere, and you arrested me in front of my kid, you bastard. 
Rhonda, we told you. I ain't going anywhere, you know it. I go to court every day. You did not make your last court appearance. I broke down in the I was there all day and broke down. Burned up someone's truck because of it. You didn't make your last court day. You are You know that, Brad? You are a The plot that's there from throwing it from searchlight is a lie. You guys let them know that he's a bastard and I ain't never leaving town. And he is up and I go to court every time. Otherwise, you've never gotten out of bed. I went to court once and I broke down. I called Robert and he had a ride of night the same morning. You're a dirtbag, you know that? Okay, you're gonna uh, take her back to the office. Yeah, and, uh, we'll take her back to the office. Start for her transport. Put her in a waist chain and transport her. She's hopefully she'll calm down. Okay. I'm glad her sister was here. Uh, okay. We don't have to worry about her kids. Okay, she she gave okay to leave the kids with her yeah, sister. Yeah, she okay. gave the okay to leave the kids with her sister. Um, we're code four. Okay, we'll uh, we'll follow you back to the office. Meet you over there. Uh, I have a letter of authorization to arrest you. They didn't sign the 23rd. And when it, Robert's the one that tells me who this to arrest. Right. The, the bondsman signed the authorization to arrest you on the 23rd. I have only been looking for Michael for two days. You guys are f***ing He's only failed to appear, what, Monday? I don't know what the f*** did, Ron. Actually, you know that? Bond You're picking on me. He denied that he's had contact with you since then? I, he's had contact. I told you that. When did he have contact with you? He had contact with me about two days ago. You're facing some time. I know, and at the, in the long run, I am. He's a him. I know he's a dirtbag. I didn't because I don't like that guy. Five different times. I love the guy. He's a but I love him. He's not so bad, you know. Well, I knew she wasn't going to be happy, but uh, I didn't think that she would be as uncooperative and as nasty as she was. Uh, you know, we've been uh, we've been verbally enforcing the bail contract with her and uh, constantly letting her know that she has been breaching her contract and that she stands to go to jail. And you know, we've told her that you will go to jail if you continue to breach your contract. And I think all along she's kind of thought that uh, we were just uh, all talk and no action. I don't think she really expected us to come and, and arrest her. And when we showed up there tonight, she, I think she automatically assumed again that we were looking for a co-defendant and had really had no idea that he, we were there to arrest her. Well, she's still not a happy camper. Oh, well. We knew she wasn't going to be. OK. Uh, once you get her in a waist chain, okay. uh, she has another t-shirt here. She I'm wants to change to into it before she's out. transported. I'm ready to go to jail. OK. I am going to say OK, she's coming inside here. I am serving her bed. Rhonda, if you want to smoke on that trip up, I, I do. I don't smoke, and I still want to call you a dirtbag. You are. You well, know no, you're I don't. You can call no, me in an Emmy one. I would be in jail. I've been in court every uh, The last I'm not time. I'm not long far. Okay, I'm listen to me, Rhonda. No. Okay, I'm going to take your handcuffs off. Go ahead. Okay? Mm -hmm. When I take the handcuff off, I want you to put your hand on top of your head, okay? Okay, yes. You going to do it? You guys act like I'm going to run or something. Put your hand on top of your head. Can't catch him. you. <laughs> Rhonda, we told you before, we warned you many times. I didn't do anything wrong. You okay, missed your last Put your hands down in front. I did not. I called and I got a bell rejection, you jerk. Okay, put your hands down in front. God, I hate you. You know what? You just like to ruin my life. My son watched me get a hang up. Okay, put your hands down in front of you. Put your hands down in front of you. You bastard. I don't feel like your kid saying you go to jail when you didn't do that wrong. Let me tell you that you're legally under arrest, okay? I know, I'm legally under arrest. Obviously. Okay. Obviously. Well, your original yes. charges are I under the influence of a controlled substance, possession of a controlled substance, uh -huh. possession of narcotics, have a seat. Yes, possession sir. of a methamphetamine with intent to sell. Rhonda, can you understand no. our concern? When we show up at your house, your co-defendant is on your answering machine making arrangements with you to and come to I come and leave you money. Abortion. Okay. Excuse me. You tell us your own. You tell us out of your own mouth. You tell us that your co-defendant wants to stay out of jail a month so he can make enough money yeah, so to get your title you back so you guys can what, leave town? No, I'm not leaving my house. I own my house. You know that? Just recently I found out I'm supposed to We gave you a chance, Rhonda. And then after you four, You were bailed and out one, on you're August 13th, 1996. And that's what the f This is stupid. Give me another one. Come on, I'll defend every single one of them. You, you know it. You failed to appear. Yeah, your I failed to appear. I, I broke down and blew up 
my friend's truck because the cycle broke out every window of my house and in my car I couldn't drive it. And I called Robert to give me a ride to court and he wouldn't do it. I bet you this is it. his Here, This I is his signature. And you know it. Notice the order to transfer bail. You're going to be transported to Clark County to Take me. Rhonda, have you been arrested since this, this case? Yeah. How many times have you, how many One. cases have you caught since this case? One. And where was that at? In my car. No, but where, which, which where county, which, which, in Mojave my County? Car. In Bullhead? In Arizona. In Arizona? And I didn't get bailed out, I got ORD. You got ORD. So you have charges pending in both yeah, states? Yes, so what? Okay. What does it prevent you from catching another charge? and catching another case time and time again to where you feel that. that you might want to run. I, know, I will never want to run. Here's the deal, Rhonda. If you go over to Laughlin and I'm get arrested again, run, you guys. if you I'm get arrested again, again, Burt's Bell Bonds loses out. Why? Okay? So not only are we afraid that Why you're going to you run, have? we're afraid Why you're going to go somewhere else something? and get arrested. You're not, you're not worth keeping out on bond anymore. Rhonda? Let's go, Rhonda. You and Mike have never Push done me wrong, except Mike got scared because of his last situation. I know. He's been checking in every day. I don't want to have to go after him. I'm Come on. Check it out. Let's go. And why am I going? Is it personal? Oh, no, it's not you personal. Tell me my ass is yours. My ass is yours all the time. All the time. Because you sit there and argue with me about on, everything. You're, you pull guns on me. I had nothing but I'm hurting myself. Get in the car. I am trying to get okay. there, sir. Okay. I'm trying. As fast as I can, it's gonna be no different one second later. Okay. Don't curse. Well, let's piss me off. I let's don't mind. Off. You can yell at me, but don't curse. You can call me you got an hour and a half to yell at me on the way to Vegas. It's uh it's no. ten, ten o'clock. How long do you think it's gonna take you to get up there and back? Uh an hour and a half, half hour to book her in, hour and a half back. She violated three conditions of her bond. Bonds were doesn't be responsible. I've never met anybody in this job yet that enjoyed going to jail or thought it was fair.